Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews, and I've got another episode of Too Sweet. Today, trying two different candy bars that are similar, and what they are is they're a new take on classic candy bars out there, and I don't think I've ever seen the one before, and I haven't tried this other one that's in a different kind of flavor, and the first one is going to be Kit Kat Dark. Never tried the dark chocolate Kit Kat. I've tried the white chocolate, the regular one, the glowing dark ones, um, orange colors. I've even tried some Kit Kats from Japan that I've tried in the past. I, I, one of them was a banana. One of them was a, uh, I think one was a strawberry shortcake one. But this was the only other flavor that I could find in the of the Kit Kats here in America, and this is just the dark, and it's just dark chocolate. So that's the first one I'm going to try, and then another one that I've seen that I found found this one at 7-Eleven when I was looking for some other stuff out there, and I've not seen this one before. I actually saw it in all all different stores, but I ended up finding this there, and I thought I'd give this one a try. And this is called the Milky Way Fudge. Now, they have a Milky Way Midnight. They have um, regular Milky Way. Don't know too many other ones that they have out there. But this one is supposed to be fudge. It says it's milk chocolate, creamy caramel, and fudge nougat. So I guess, I'm guessing the difference with this is... They've got fudge nougat instead of the regular vanilla or white nougat or whatever that nougat is in there. So I'm going to go ahead and try the Kit Kat Dark first. And actually even has instructions on here. It says to open, lift, flat, flap, and tear at the end. <laughs> and just if you guys are interested... I think on here it says calories 200 for one package, so 200 for the whole the whole thing. And I'm all, I'm only gonna break me off a key, piece of this Kit Kat bar <laughs> and try it. <laughs> so you know, so the commercial break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, and I think most people have seen what the Kit Kat bars look like, and it's got the uh, Big piece. So I'm going to break off one. Gonna snap into it. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> oh boy, I'm getting a little crazy because it's getting late at night. I think I've had a little bit of too much either chocolate or um, soda or something. Making me a little bit crazy. But that's the inside of it. It's the regular Kit Kat. It's just a darker chocolate on the outside. So go ahead and give this one a try. See how it tastes. That's good. I can really taste the dark chocolate. It's a good flavor. Mm hmm. It's slightly bitter. That chocolate's really good. The cookie's really crunchy. That's actually really good dark chocolate. Nice and creamy. It's a little bitter. That's very good, especially when they have, like, Hershey's and all that have their dark chocolate. And sometimes the chocolate's not the best quality, but that's actually really good. So that's the dark, the dark Kit Kat. And I'm going to go ahead. Hmm, that's really good. I have to get that one again because... The normal one, the regular Kit Kat, you know, it's just plain chocolate, milk chocolate. And those are quite common around here. And they're just okay, but that's actually really good. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one. I'm opening up this Milky Way fudge, and there's actually two bars in here. So I'm going to have to take 
one of them, once I open this thing up, and here's what the whole bar looks like. And on this one, the content is serving size one bar, 190 per bar. So this bar is 190 calories. And this is just the caramel and the nougat. And here's what it looks like. There's quite a bit of caramel in there. <laughs> and chocolate fudge nougat. So that's the only part that's a little different than the normal one. It's got, I think it's vanilla nougat in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try, see how it tastes. So here you go. Hmm. Wow. It's very rich. The chocolate on the outside is nice and thick. Very creamy. The caramel's good. Hmm. That fudge nougat. Hmm. Nice and fudgy. <laughs> As it would be. That's pretty good actually. I'm I'm trying to remember what a regular Milky Way tastes like, and it's that vanilla nougat and then a little caramel. It's almost like the Snicker bar, but the Snicker bar has the peanuts in it and a little bit of the nougat and a little bit of caramel. And the Three Musketeers is the one that just has all nougat. So this has got a kind of, it's kind of a cross between a Snickers and a Three Musketeers without the nuts. <laughs> Guess that's what you'd look at it as. So, hmm. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. The nougat, it's actually really good. The bar itself is nice and creamy. The chocolate's creamy. Hmm. It's actually really good. So, I guess for these two that I was able to try today, they were similar chocolate bars, just with a little different take on them. So that's actually really good. So I'm going to go ahead and rate these out of the two. And I think I'm going to rate them. First, I'm going to go ahead and rate the Milky Way Fudge. That one, I'm going to give a 9 out of 11. The fudge was good. The caramel was really good. I wasn't real wild about the milk chocolate on the outside because the milk chocolate on these, you know, the Milky Way and the Snickers and all that, it's okay quality. It's just not my favorite type of chocolate. It's not real, you know, top of the line quality. So it was just, it was just average on the, the chocolate, but the rest of the bar was good. So I'd, I'd give that uh, nine out of, nine out of 11. So it was, it's fairly good. Now the Kit Kat Dark. Hmm, this one is interesting because I'm not always that big of a Kit Kat person, but this particular flavor was kind of, uh, it's kind of, it was very flavorful. And I guess I've been kind of a connoisseur of Kit Kats now that I've actually tried different flavors, like from Japan and some of the ones for Halloween and stuff like that. And I'm trying to, I'd really like to try a lot of the different other flavors like they've got out there. The I did try the one, the green tea one, and I think I tried the, yeah, the strawberry shortcake, and I've tried the banana, and I've tried the white chocolate ones, and they're they're okay. But um, for the dark chocolate Kit Kat, with it being simple, I'm gonna have to rate that. 
I'm gonna have to rate that a 10 out of 11. I would have given it an 11, but it wasn't spectacular enough to blow me away to say that that was an 11. It was really good, the flavor was there, so I think it would rake a 10 out of 11, just for the fact that it was just, it was just dark chocolate, and you know, maybe if it was a little more exotic flavor, it would have kicked it up to an 11. But I think a, a 10 out of 11 is actually pretty good. It's very good dark chocolate, and the Kit Kat itself was really good. So that's my take on these two bars. If you can find them at a uh, you know, supermarket or gas station, convenience store, I think they have them pretty much everywhere. You can find them. They're not too hard to find. They have them out. I think they, I don't know how long they've had the fudge one out, and I think they've had the Kit Kat dark out for quite a while. It's just a different flavor on that one. So if you can find them, go ahead and give them a try, if, especially if you like the dark chocolate or if you like fudge in your chocolate bar. So till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any future content when I put out my new videos. And there's always something going to be coming out. I do my videos quite regular. There's no real schedule right now, but <laughs> just kind of when I get them done, I put them out. So stay tuned for a lot of the future episodes out there. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Yeah.